Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your weekend reading. A weekend reading like no other. As many of you have been requested such reading, here we are. Someone is about to contact you. Been through my meditation and definitely gather these messages. Whoever is this person, could be a person, could be a soul, that is about to contact you. Which way? And what's the reason? Could be a work person, could be a family energy, could be love, could be even an ex. Not necessary that I'm focusing on a specific message or specific messages. If you are interested in a weekend reading or you are interested in such readings, keep watching. If you don't, now is the time to flip it out. Aries, always, always keep an open mind. And let's see. Someone is about to contact you. Who is that person? I'm having a seven of wands underneath. Six of wands. Ace of pentacles. Temperance. And the eight of pentacles. Whoever is this person, they, they feel like they lost you for good. Because I'm seeing you moving on. I'm seeing you, it's kind of like I'm working towards my future. And whoever I'm speaking here, it's a single Aries or some some Aries who are fine just to move on. The other thing here, I'm seeing somebody here, here have certain regrets. Whatever they've done to you or how they've done to you. It's not like you are looking into this or neither. I, I don't see you very much interested. It's like I see you busy on other stuff or very focused on something else than this person. Okay, let's see why, why this person is about to contact you. For others of you, before we go into this person, like you are just focusing on your new beginning, on your future, on your healing, and so on. Archangel Michael here, which is a very powerful archangel. It's, there's an energy here is like if I, if I fight for a better life, for a better me, everybody around me should too. It's like the errors of what I'm speaking here, you, you love to be surrounding or surrounded by people who are actually, it's all about improvement, who are always strive for a better life, for better themselves. I don't feel you have anything in particular to, towards this person or in particular, especially this person, but it's kind of you don't waste your time to those who are not there for you or not there for improvement. But it seems here this person is not in a good way. I'm having the full seven of cups. This person could fool around with other people. And now they realize that they shouldn't. So yeah, they, they might even... Um, Wow, we have two eights, two sevens. What I'm feeling here, this person could not contact you for some time. Could be a couple uh, weeks, couple months. And out of blue, they, they contact you or they text you. And uh, they might even say, hey, stranger, what's going on? Like they, they know what they've done, but they will pretend like, what was going on? Why you don't answer my phone? Or why you don't want to talk to me? What I did do? And things like that. It seems here a very mature person that it's about to contact you. Doesn't show me someone particularly or <clears throat> when the cards doesn't show someone, it's showing me here their traits. And this person... <sighs> If it's not a, um, a person who want to show, this person might not show their face or they, they're not someone who is facing reality or they live in some kind of fantasy. 
for some reason I'm feeling here this person might, might have two sides or they could be bipolar or something but you know when you look for grass is greener on the other side you kind of not where you're supposed to oh wow for others of you this person could be committed before or they still in a very unstable un unhappy not happy with their life and they always look for distraction okay what i have to tell you but i definitely feel here with this eight of wands they are definitely are going to contact you okay let's see what they have to tell you or why they are here to contact you oh wow okay some of you you've been even intimate with this person But yeah, this person definitely has some kind of trait here. It's like sometimes they could bombing you with messages and then it's like a ghost. Nothing happened. Yeah, this person have an issue. And yeah, this person have a hard time to take a no. Also, this person might be in a dead-end marriage or dead-end commitment. I also hear this person have definitely some... Um, some addictions. If you told them that they are not going to end certain things, they could say, well, I don't care what you think. There's some, some kind of attitude this person gave it to you and it was a big no-no. But this person also is just kind of don't see the point. For some of you, you just feel like, well, just get over it and move on. This is some, some kind of um, person that you don't want to, to engage any longer. And Spirit says no more about this person. Their the energy is not a good one. Or this person have a narcissistic uh, tendency. Okay. Is there anyone else who is about to contact my Aries? Let's see. We have justice. Queen of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Four of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. It's leading me again to this person. Again, this something is about this person, and and you just feel like you need to stay your ground or stay in your lane. Okay, how about how are you? Thank you, Spirit, for letting us to continue. How about you? What you think about this? Knight of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. King of Wands. Ten of Cups. For some of you, if you have kids with this person, it's kind of you can accept them to do what's right for the kids. But for many, many of you, you are just happy on your own or doing you. For others of you, you are going to spend some, some time with your immediate family 
or you are gonna work on something that definitely feels like makes your day or makes your weekend. Again, whoever is this person, I see them insisting. This person, it's kind of that, uh, I, I don't wanna call anyone words or anything bad, but it's, it's like that disease or that cough that doesn't let you go so easy. And Spirit says, don't, don't respond if you don't, don't want to engage with this person. This person have better days, but it's kind of in, they are in a worse day or in a bad day or have a bad day. There's something here, whoever here you are, let them go. It's kind of a, a good omen. What advice we have for you, loves? Goodness. It's not so often getting some kind of energy, but for some of you, you will resonate with this kind of person. Whoever they are, they definitely have some kind of attitude or some kind of tendency that they they not let go something so easy. You know those people who start calling and they don't stop unless you answer or those people who text, text, text and you de definitely are busy or doing you or doing stuff and they just putting their nonsense. Feels like an emergency, but it is absolutely nothing about it. The emergency, I mean. What advice we have from Spirit to you, loves? We have Three of Pentacles. We have Strength. We have Queen of Swords. And we have Chariot. What I'm hearing, this situation will work out itself. Yes, this person has always something to say. They always try something here. And Spirit says this situation eventually will ease up because this person is going to move on. Or they will understand that they can get to you or your energy. For some reason, this person is like this Queen of Swords trying to get or to, you know, like you have a balloon, big balloon, and there there is a nail getting in just to blow the balloon. This person is kind of like getting on your nerves to see when you are going to react or what you're going to say. Woo! What kind of person you are dealing here? Whoever they are, they kind of like getting on your nerves or try to get on your nerves. When they will realize that they have no way, they will move on. You know, no answer is an answer. And even the dumbest person will understand after a while. It's not like this person is a dumb, but I feel here they have a hidden plan, but they cannot get to you. Okay? They could ask you about work or how I can do this or certain questions. They have nothing in common with you and them or nothing, nothing at all to what they should do. And Spirit says, you do you, continue to do you and let the universe to work it out this situation. Because this person, again, look at here, seven of swords, five of swords, they try you or they... They try to, to bug you somehow. Five of Pentacles. They need your energy. This person is like a vampire energy. Whew. Wow. Didn't expect this for you, darlings. But Aries, heads up. And again, do you. If you focus on something, you better not really get to this person. I also hear that for those of you who block this person, they will reach out through other things. So block them there too. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I know many of you are not laughing too, but I don't feel this person is a dangerous person, but I feel here they, they could talk a lot of a lot of things, a lot of nonsense most likely. So don't put anything to your heart, darlings. Okay. 
and that being said love you all and i'll see you next time bye for now